Hi guys and welcome back to the Tat Cave. Now I get asked a question, a very good question, very often, which is how do we claim our expenses for items that we buy cash in hand and we can't get receipts for? Um, such as when you go to a car boot sale and you rush around, you pick up loads and loads of stuff, spend a load of money, but there's no way of getting receipts from some stranger in a field. Um, likewise at jumble sales or if you go and pick up um, something through Facebook or Gumtree, you know, you're hardly going to get a written receipt for every item you pick up in any of those circumstances. So I get asked very often, how do we go about um, recording those purchases and then claiming for those expenses through our tax returns. Um, I've always said what I've done, which is to keep a written log of all of my cash expenses uh, for stock um, and then submit those numbers that I've got recorded in there on my tax return. Um, but as far as the HMRC goes, that there is no um, sort of provision for this and I spoke to them many years ago, uh, I've said this before, I went into a tax office and I said how do I go about recording these um, cash transactions for tax and they said well you need receipts, you need a written receipt with you know the name and details of the person that's selling it to you, how much, where and when, dated and signed etc. And I explained to them that that just isn't going to happen at a car boot sale, a jumble sale, blah 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 and they just didn't have any helpful advice for me on what I could do. So I just started, well, carried on, because I was already doing it, logging everything. But what I thought I'd do today was, I thought, it's been a long time since I spoke to the HMRC about this issue. And I know a lot of other people are confused about what to do in this situation. So I thought I'd ring them up. And I thought I would do it on speakerphone, and I would share the conversation with you guys. And I made the call earlier, it was a very, well, I was on hold forever. Um, and then the conversation, I've ha had to edit the conversation down because there was a lot of waffling there, a lot of stuff that, that wasn't really pertinent to the point. But, yeah, you'll see what they said. Um, so, yeah, I will share that conversation with you uh, in a moment and then I will see you on the other side and do a little roundup. For quality and security, this call might be recorded. with you as soon as possible. Just so you know, there's also lots of help and advice on our website, www.hmrc. So how can I help this evening? It's more of a general inquiry, really. Um, it's about how I go about claiming expenses um, from cash purchases where, where I can't physically get a receipt, how I go about logging that for claiming it against my tax return. Right, okay, so you, are you self-employed, I take it, yeah? Yes, but an, an awful lot of my stock uh, is bought direct from the public, second-hand stuff through Facebook or car boot sales or jumble sales, and there's just no way of getting receipts. And I just mm -hmm. wanted to check that I'm doing the right thing regarding my expenses. Right, okay, that's fine. Just bear with me, I'll just go through to a technician and just double check with them, okay? Okay. Just bear a wee minute. Thanks. Thank you. At least it's a different tune. Hi there. Hi, so I've just double checked with another 
other technicians, she said um, the same as my colleague, unfortunately, that it would really need to be like bank statements or receipt or something along those lines. Because if you're just keeping a note of it yourself, yeah, then it's not like solid proof, unfortunately. So it would really need to be something like that. When you say a bank statement, I mean, what do you mean when I withdraw the cash to take it? But again, that's no, not going to re relate to anything, yeah, is it? It would need to be like, if, for example, you bought it from a shop and then it shows how much it would be to be taken that day. Yeah, well, all um, of, all, taking... any stock I get from retail outlets or charity shops or, or wherever that has a receipt, obviously I keep all of those. But yeah, it, But yeah. it's the vast amount of my stuff that is cash in hand that I can't, you know, I can't ask for a receipt off some stranger in a field, you know. And yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I know what you're saying, but it's just I spoke to both of them. They said the same thing and said it's only really accepted if there is a receipt and it's solid proof that you have bought it from. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. No have a nice problem. day. Thank you. Bye now. You too. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting. I hope you enjoyed the little montage of me on hold forever. Um, yeah, as for the conversation, it didn't surprise me at all. That's pretty much what I expected. They they need receipts, you know, and they're, they're pretty hard-lined about it, which, which makes sense, you know. They need written evidence, as they put it, that we've actually spent this money and what we spent it on and where and when and with who, you know, but it doesn't change the fact that if you're sourcing your stock from, as I said before, car boot sales or jumble sales or direct from members of the public through Facebook, you know, in the newspaper, wherever it is, cash in hand sales, they're not going to give you a written receipt. I mean, you could go to the lengths, I guess, of taking a receipt book around with you and getting them to fill their name and address details in and how much it was. And, but it's just not practical, particularly in a car boot sale scenario where you're rushing around and, and at some stalls you might just spend a pound or 50p here and then £10 there and £5 there. If you stopped and written that, wrote out in a little receipt book for them to sign and, and what have you, a, you're going to waste ridiculous amounts of time. Most people won't want to give you their details, and why should they? So it's just not practical. But as you saw in that conversation, they don't have any anything else to offer us other than you need written receipts. So it comes down to this. I have recorded what I spend, as I said before, in a ledger. Every year I fill out a ledger those numbers that I total up all of the numbers and submit that as part of my expenses with my tax return which is fine um, but according to HMRC it is not enough and you need to be aware of that um, nobody's ever given me any answers beyond doing what I do and that's that's what it is so I'm sorry I can't give you any more help and this kind of leaves the whole question as open as it was before. As far as HMRC are concerned, we need receipts. We can't get receipts, so we're still in the same position. And yeah, who knows what that means. But I mean, I've been doing it this way as many, many, many other people I speak to who, who source their stock in similar ways also do because there's nothing more we can do apart from keep as accurate as possible records as we can and, and use those to back up what we are submitting on our tax returns. So there you go. Like I say, I hope that was an interesting video. Um, I had some fun messing around with the edit on, you know, when I was waiting and listening to that endless drivel music. Um, but yeah, the lady I spoke to was lovely and she was trying to be helpful. She she put me on hold a couple of times and went off to speak to supervisors and nobody had any other answers for me apart from you need to keep receipts. But I can't get receipts. And that's the same position so many people are in who, who message me on my channel. Like, what do we do? And the answer is not a lot. Not a lot we can do. 
Anyway, it was a bit of a fun video. I hope it was fun, if not particularly useful. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll speak to you guys soon. We should be back on Sunday with a live hangout with Andrea and I'll be back next week on Tuesday with Zaheer. So take care guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.